Now, so again, when we're looking at this one, um, first thing we're always going to do is set it equal to 0. Now, the first thing that some of you guys might notice is saying, oh, crap, this is an a, th like my a is not equal to 1. So if I was going to do the long method, I'd have to do a times c, and then I'd have to do b, right? So a times c in this case would be 32, 64, and then negative 16, right? Now, if you guys remember, 64 has a lot of factors, right? But you can do this in your head, and that's not a problem. But again, I, the purpose of today is to show you guys the quick way. You guys need to know how to do this method, OK? But today is all about using the quick and the easy way. And the quick and the easy way states that when you have a and c are square numbers, are a and c square numbers in this case? Is 16 a square number? Yeah. Is 4 a square number? Yeah. Yes. Now in the last example, b had to be c. In this example, b has to be 2 times the square root of a times the square root of c. So let's see if that works. What is the square What is a? 16. What's c? 4. 2 times 4 times 2. Does our middle term equal 2 times 4 times 2? 2 times 4 is 8 times 2 is 16. So yes. So what do you, how can you factor this then when you have squared terms? Your first, first and last term are squared, and your middle term is 2 times the square root of each term. Then all you simply do oops, now the difference is what we do is when you have it like this, no matter what you multiply by, positive, positive, negative, negative, it's always going to be a positive 4. However, if you're adding them and they're going to add to a middle term that's negative, that means both of your factors have to be negative. So in my case, what is the square root of 16? 4. four. What is the square root of 4? Two. 2. Square root of 4. And do you guys remember when you guys did the problems, you always had the factors were always exactly the same, right? You guys always had factors that were exactly the same. One was positive, one was negative. So now you can just set them equal to 0. And I'm not going to solve this. x equals 2 fourths, which equals 1 half. Okay, And that's just going to be your one solution. Does that 